Hello, can I have a chalky a chalky nut bar? Hello. John. Oh, hi Mango. I had a chance to read the cause and effect script yet. Which one? The one Mark wrote? Your rewrite of that? Or the script for the skit that was somehow acting out right now? The skit script, of course, the one in your hand right now, actually. Oh yeah, I have a question about it. Go ahead. Why do I have to pretend to be two years younger? We have to give the illusion to the audience that Brick by Brick has only taken, say, four months to complete rather than four years, but the audience would know that we were lying. So we have to double bluff and pretend that we are lying, so the audience will assume otherwise. Right. Look, it'll make sense in the final edit. It'll be seamless. The audience won't have any clue that we've been working to fix Mark's series for the last two years. Oh, that's just typical. Here we are, scheduled to film this afternoon, and someone's managed to tear a rift in the space-time continuum in the very corridor we're using. But how would they manage that? Someone has clearly built, badly, some kind of portal-cutting machine, and for whatever reason, they've used it at my sets. That vending machine you were trying to use. Hello, can I have a chalky... a chalky nut bar? I knew it looked suspiciously like it had been converted very crudely to open portals. But why would anyone want to do that? What would they possibly want to see at the other side of that portal? Should we go through it and see for ourselves? You must be joking. We don't know what lies at the other end. It could be anything, some hideous alternate reality. Even the old Red Dwarf Roblox sets. I tell you what, I'll go get that vending machine and see if we can use it to close the portal. Then we can start filming. We. Cast now, advertised for a new mango. Again. Ah, what the hell, even if it is the old sets, it might still be a laugh. Oops. Hey John, look at this. It's a brick by brick DVD. A lot of these on the floor are too. How fortuitous and dare I say implausible is that? But why would that portal and my interactive set have led to, of all places, the DVD section of a department store inexplicably selling so many copies of an amateurish and otherwise free-to-watch online documentary about the rise and fall of an over-ambitious adaptation of popular BBC and UK TV sci-fi sitcom Red Dwarf? Maybe whoever opened that portal desperately wanted to see the finished product for some reason. Well, I guess that's somewhat promising. It confirms we'll have at least one viewer. Such an obsessive that they cruelly make a machine that physically tears open portals to locations that can't possibly exist. I bet they stole the DVD too, didn't even pay for it. Speaking of stealing, do you reckon it'd be possible to keep that vending machine, maybe upgrade it to open different portals? It could be useful. Well, I don't suppose it is stealing really. After all, whoever built it didn't take it with them, they just left it in a corridor. One of my corridors. Finders keepers, I suppose I already own it. You're starting to sound like Mark. Excuse me. Anyway, now that we've answered the question as to where the portal goes, let's leave and get it closed so we can start filming. And hopefully get out before anyone comes to see the damage we've caused. What damage? That was like that when I arrived. Can't speak for you, obviously. Yeah, it was like that when I got here, too. Terrible service. I'm never shopping here again. So what do you reckon? Imagine the time we'd save if, instead of building the Series 11 Starbucks set, we could just prise open a portal and make it exist. It looks like it can create players, too. We could use it to create a whole cast. Yeah, no more waiting for people to come online. I bet Mark wishes he had something like this when he was filming Red Dwarf Roblox. 